Just ahead of its US debut, the fifth generation Prius puts its hot new body out there. There aren't many record scratch moments when it comes to mainstream affordable hybrids, they're often boring, and the action is all in the F space these days, anyway. Which is why the surprise early unveiling of the all new Toyota Prius in Europe and Japan is, well, quite the surprise. Toyota is behind the curve with fully electric cars, having so far put forth only the mediocre and immediately recalled BZ4X, so for us to get excited about one of its hybrids, and the historically dull and weird Prius, no less, is saying something. To be upfront, we'll have full, US market information on and photos of the 2023 Toyota Prius later today, when it's unveiled in California ahead of the 2022 Leaders.A. Auto Show. These photos and information popped up unexpectedly on Toyota's official European and Japanese websites, so assuming they're Priuses, Prime? Portend what we'll see tonight when our Prius debuts, we're offering up this peek into what you can likely expect here in America. Until now, every Prius save for perhaps the groundbreaking tadpole-shaped second-generation model has been not only forgettable to look at, but also slightly strange. Just like today's emerging EVs, which are often styled to look just a little different from traditional gas models as a way of signaling their futuristic powertrains, early hybrids like the Prius jog to a different, usually dorky beat. This new Prius? For the first time ever, the adjectives dorky, lame, ugly, or blah hardly apply. The 2023 Prius looks like a rolling concept car, even though it appears production ready with regular side mirrors, normal tires, etc. Its shape, hinted at in several teasers of late, is pointy and aggressive, with a pleasant adaptation of the hydrogen fuel cell Toyota Mirai's full width tail lights and cam tail. The rear door handles are hidden in the rear quarter window area, the windshield lays down nearly flat, and the wheels look appropriately sized for, well, the Prius's size. Inside, the Prius's cabin draws clear parallels to the BC4X F crossover, apparently borrowing that model's steering wheel and digital gauge cluster, while Toyota's latest infotainment display perches atop the dashboard. It's almost elegant, inside and out, and vaguely upscale in a way no Prius has pulled off yet. And, yes, it's the first Prius ever that might attract attention for reasons other than its miles per gallon figure or affordability. Toyota's Euro market information for the Prius and its plug-in hybrid sibling, the Prius Prime, hint at big power upgrades to the traditionally slow and underpowered models. Switching from the old Prius's 1.8-liter gas engine to a bigger 2.0-liter unit, along with what could be changes to its electric motors, ups the regular hybrid's output to a staggering 193 horsepower, and the plug-in primes to 220. Prepare to maybe have one of these Priuses running up your back bumper in the left lane, because Toyota is claiming the FEV can hit 100 km per hour, just about 60 miles per hour, in 6.7 seconds, not sports car quick by any means, but unheard of for a Prius. All this power is stuffed into a second-generation TNGA platform, Toyota's modular setup that now sits beneath nearly all of its car and crossover lineups in America. Again, full details on the Prius's hybrid and plug-in hybrid systems, its features, and US market specifics will be revealed tonight, but for now, Europe's preview has us genuinely looking forward to seeing more and, we can't believe we're saying this, driving this seemingly quicker, more stylish Prius soon.